वेलकम टू द वीडियो कैप्चर्ड बाय टेक्नोवा इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज एंड प्राप्तन सॉल्यूशंस रिगार्डिंग द कंप्लीट ईआरपी सॉल्यूशन एज वेल एज कैलिब्रेशन मॉड्यूल सो दिस सॉफ्टवेयर इज बेस्ड ऑन डब्ल्यू पी एफ टेक्नोलॉजी विच इज वन ऑफ द लेटेस्ट वन इन द फ्रेटर्निटी ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट If we see first, uh, these are some of the major modules uh, through which we can go. I think the first one we should go by calibration module. This is one of the majorly developed module, considering the current calibration and testing labs in India as well as abroad. So most of the NABL accredited labs. are using certain processes for calibration so this software is designed exactly keeping all the requirements of these calibration and testing labs we would take you through the complete tour of calibration module so let's go step by step the first is instruments master so inside instrument master you have all the details which are supposed to be fed inside uh, or choosing any kind of instrument for calibration and testing so this screen if you see it would have the complete details of instrumentation or instrument master right from the transaction you can start with your uh, instrument details like your id serial number model date warranties or all the various parameters like range accuracy resolution traceability lcs all of the data is mentioned here by any chance if you want to declare it as a sic also the option is right here after that we can see some of the calibration details which can be put for those particular instruments right from the master calibration master instrument rig number name details all the relevant datas could be put inside then if there are certain accessories coming along with those that can be seen then the purchase details and rest all you can see so this particular software is based on few simple parameters like on every screen you can see something like create so if you want to create a new record of master or entry it is mentioned there then you have to save that record then if you want to remove it or delete it it's there then if you see you can go for discard then print and help this is the standard menu all across on the right side you can see there is a document attachment so you can attach wherever it is possible and it is required by the process so you can see there is an export button so you can export such kind of things or all these uh, details also whenever you required in most of the times excel format so let's see if we click first instrument code and uh, see what happens in terms of instrument datas now you can see there is a code of instrument barcode as well as the details you can take these through barcodes also that facilities are also there with the attachments and all other detail so this is how you should feel instrument master so this was the first major screen i would like you to take through completely if there are certain calibration details like last calibration date then any purchase detail like make and all can be filled inside let's move on to uh, the second part of it in after instrument master we move to test identification master these are uh, some of the initial masters if we fill them correctly as per your test requirements then we can get all the details as expected so again the same uh, structure you can see create save remove discard print and help so it is quite consistent software from the look and feel point of view 
if you want to see the test identification what are the services that particular test or you are going to offer as a calibration lab so it's mentioned there your test id name short names then inspection category these are the important one whether it is a calibration or a testing so you can uh, you know determine your services accordingly and we can feed that data there are certain additional parameters parameter code name details unit all of these and let me remind you all of these things are dynamically uh, possible to change also and customize as per your requirement if you look at then the test type details we can see it in details what is the test type test code name again the output header for which you are uh, having it is average minimum maximum then units master instrument all of them whether you want to keep it active or not that you can choose here then these are some of the benchmark details depending on your range tolerances standard values higher tolerances exactly the way nabl accredited labs work and as per their requirement all of these details are filled inside here you can see the task list instrument reading as well as master reading for all of these datas you can scroll through very easily if you could see it through this list then after that if you uh, want to export this data you can do it in excel also so this is the test identification master let's move on to the next uh, one which is say laboratory you can create any kind of test. you can create any kind of test or you can generate any kind of test calibration as per your requirement so it won't have any botherations whether i do the pressure test or say flow or discharge or ultrasonic any any things are absolutely possible in this so all kind of testing as well as uh, the special tests like electrical fluid flow pressure mechanical ultrasonic non destructive absolutely all kinds of test come in the purview of this particular software you can see the laboratory and uh, here you can look at the various transactions what you can do you can enter the detail code abbreviations and uh, things like that so it is just like a entry so we would take one example where all the data is uh, put in so that can be saved and then if you want to save it you can just click data saved successfully so this is how it is it's just one of the part then if you talk about rig uh, there also we can see rig in these rigs as well as in laboratory you can uh, do n number of labs you can create however you want so absolutely it's completely customizable as per your requirement so if you look at some of the example for rig if i say there could be options like you can choose whatever rig you want and you know declare and take it to the next level again the create uh, save all these patterns will remain same rigs are mainly developed for work center calibration as well as uh, the area where you have lot of machines setting together at a fixed location on specially on the assembly lines and all so moving on to the next one the main calibration so here you can see lot of uh, options which we can go through uh, just before moving to calibration i think we should start with the service request form so what is this when you start your first service request would be generated the moment you get a, a purchase order from your customer or uh, we call it as a sales order for us so this service request is created the more and more you feel the data in this service request you will have perfect execution of your calibration process if you see right from uh, the document inspection lot number lab all the details you can put in here then if you see some instrument details there also you can choose from the drop down whatever instruments which you are using you can select put in then apart from that if you want to 
uh, you know put some special test name that is also possible all your test records test names as well as instrument names can be saved one after another so apart from that accessory details some of the parameters where you want to define or uh, you want to put in for those particular service requests that is possible then the major details of service code test name status complete you know completion date as well as all other details can be put so you can do multiple tests also with the same service request in one single service request you can put multiple tests also so let us select one of the test service just for our information so this is the document number again uh, auto generated by the system inspection lot number all these details here you can see it is completed so the status will keep on informing you whether uh, it is under approval or just started or completed again the contact person who is taking care of that then the customer details so you can see almost all the data which is necessary for any kind of test is filled here and this data is uh, specially uh, useful in case of uh, all your selections so this is the inspection type as i was telling earlier you can go for either test inspection or you can go for calibration all of these types so in test these particular areas and fields would be having the uh, testing part of it like testing details all the test date due date all of those things can be feed inside then you can choose the test uh, period also so similarly it is for calibration inspection so there you get a calibration detail so this software is completely designed as per requirement of test as well as calibration both let's move on to uh, the next part of it Thank you.